Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Digimon. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to be taking on Kabuterimon today. Uh, so I've been waiting for my chance. Alright, Kabuterimon, let's see what you got. Uh, last episode, we, tr we actually lost. We tried to use our fire deck against Tojimon, and Tojimon kicked our butts. Honestly, it was due to an amazing top deck from Tojimon, and I got some unlucky hands both duels, but it's okay. I'm going to go with Nya deck today. The red deck doesn't seem to be as effective right now, so we're going to go with the Nya deck. Anti-A deck. Anti-armor? Oh, should I be careful with armor Digimons? Is that what you're trying to say? Ooh, I started with Leomon. That's exciting. I've never gotten to use Leomon before. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Tentamon. Palmon I like, but their HP stat's just a little too low for me. So, Kabuterimon, how do you like this? Tentamon. Ah, Gotsumon, even tankier than me. You also have the training manual. Interesting. Uh, let me see. Cover your own HP by 100. If own level is uh, lower, or switch HP with opponent. No, nope, we're the same level. And I got a healing card. So I don't really want to switch HPs with you, all things considered. I'm just going to go with a straight up blue blaster. And maybe I top deck? I don't know. I don't think I need to gamble right now. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're both in this situation where we're cool with it. Okay. It's Gotsumon versus Tentamon. Gotsumon is tankier. Tentamon hits a little bit harder. But if this was Pokemon, Rock versus Bug, Bug loses. So luckily it's not Pokemon. The hardest punch won't do anything. Should've went with your circle attack, buddy. This is a fair fight between both of us. And because of that, you're now left with less than half HP. Ah, you're in danger. You're in big danger, uh, buddy. Especially if I draw another Digimon. I did draw another Digimon. Oh. I'm afraid you've lost. Because I'm Digivolving into Leomon. We're finally gonna have Leomon, everybody. It's our turn. Um, the only attack I should go for is Circle. Uh, you could switch HPs with me, that is true. Hmm. Shouldn't have evolved. <laughs> it's like, wait, I shouldn't have evolved. That was stupid. You switch HPs with me, you're at 320. You can't kill me, but it's still, you know, I don't want to die. That was a big misplay by my part. I knew what card was in his hand, and yet I still did this. Oakley dokley. Okay, well, I'm just going to buff my attack stat then. I have ruined my champion Digimon by playing foolishly. I should have waited till he was forced to discard that card. It's okay, Leomon. We'll make, we'll make do. You're just going to have to punch him in the face really hard. Can you get crits? Is that a thing? You can't. Okay, well, that's not good then. Because his Rock Fist is going to look like it did way more damage. Because of how low your HP was. Wow! We have <laughs> no HP left. I have misplayed super hard. Yikes. Yikes. If he gets a champion, I die. He got a champion. Oh, he only got that, though, so it's fine. And you want to switch HP with me? I would really appreciate it. Move top three cards from online deck to online deck. Who cares? Would you like to... Okay, you could heal yourself this turn. That would be a big bad for me. Uh, I'm just going to go with Beast King's Fist. I technically still won this fight, but I'm going to win with, like, no HP. Because I'm going to heal myself so that I can survive this turn. So even if you went for his Rock... Why would you go for your X attack? That's your weakest attack. I wasn't going to go for my X attack. All right. Well, thanks to him going for that, I have a little bit of a chance to survive. Um, I don't think Leomon's going to make it to his ultimate form. My only ultimate being Piximon, but we'll take it. So we got to see your hardest punch. We got to see your giant rock attack, and we got to see your, all of your attacks. The X one looks the best, but yeah, Beast King's Fist. Sorry, Rock Bro. You lost. Oh, real cool kick in the air, Leomon. I'm a little bit worried, though. Your HP is really low, and uh, I put a lot on you. Granted, he has nothing to draw, which is good. Plus, I got my training manual. I could heal you. I could heal you. I don't want to rack up DP. I want to heal. Oh, yeah. He had to throw away a card that I didn't like. He's going to get champion this time. He summoned himself. And I see Mega Kabuterimon in his hand. He can counter my circle attack as well. So I'm forced to go triangle. However, if he went for that, he would actually... Huh. If he went for the counter, he would actually be using a move that couldn't kill me. 
So I would assume he wouldn't go for that. So there's no reason for me not to go for circle. And then it's like, oh, but he did pick it. Yeah, there's no reason for him not to go for it. Uh, for his other two attacks. I'm going for my circle attack. I'm probably going to have to throw away my whole hand after this, but I'm going for it. Oh, I never even thought with the computer. Oh, the computer lets you get cards back, right? Well, I was right. You didn't go for your counter. That was the good play of my part. The bad thing that I have to talk about right now is that I have nothing. My hand is ass for when you're losing. If I'm winning, my hand is amazing. But since I'm losing, my hand is pretty ass. I was able to knock you down to 500 HP, which technically isn't enough unless I can draw my Tentamon rookie form. My Tentamon could beat his Kovaterimon. That's like my only hope. Damn, that thing's creepy. To think that was a main character that people fell in love with, thats it's a horrifying creature. And my and Mega Kovaterimon ain't any cuter. It's also horrifying. Yep. Looks like I'm screwed. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to do a discard. I hate doing this, but it's gotta happen. Alright, who here... Tentamon hits the hardest. 380. But this time I got no buff. If own HP is more than opponents... Oh! This works. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna use... You, just to go over there. And... He's gonna go for counter. I just played myself. Yeah. Just played myself. Okay. He's probably gonna go for the X counter. There's really no reason not to. Now, it doesn't it say doubles any attack. But the only attack that would kill him is circle. Which is what he counters. So I would just be killing myself. I have to go for triangle. He got me. He got me by the balls. And triangle won't be enough to kill him next turn. So I still have to double my attack. Let's see if I could have won this turn. Oh, killed him this turn. I could have. Damn it. Oh, he's going to do so much damage to me. Oh, I could have killed him. I missed. Well, I didn't misplay, obviously. It was uh, luck of the odds. But this tower is really hard. Wise man tower. You're giving me trouble. Go double punch. The strongest double punch I got. He got you down to 80 HP. So close. And your shocker attack. I'm at 120 on my last Digimon. If Tentamon dies, I lose. So I have to do whatever it takes to keep Tentamon alive. But he's getting a whole new hand. Which means he might go ultimate. But nope, he, didn't, he couldn't. Oh look, it's Kawagamon. That's another good insect Digimon. He needs only 30 to go ultimate. And that ultimate would kill me. So I'm going to double punch again. Obviously. And I'm going to win. This round. Oh, I forgot. I've only lost one Digimon. Never mind. We're fine. I thought I, I could still lose Tetsumon, but I don't want to. And he's refilling his deck again. That doesn't give him any rookies, though. Luckily, Ninjamon lets me go first. It's the Bergemon of this deck. <laughs> and damn, do they come in handy. Kavuteramon versus Tentamon. Tentamon, you know what to do. Double punch. And you've defeated your own champion form. I'm so proud of you. You have no idea. I am really proud of you. <laughs> thank you so much. I was going to die. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Whew. That was rough. I'm on my draw phase. I can Digivolve, and I'm forced to, because if I don't, I die. Um, Salomon, I guess I could throw you away, but it would just be a toss, because you evolve without this. Do I really want that draw one card effect? No, that's fine. I'd rather, let's just summon our Yanmamon. This is our this is our Digimon, I guess. It's not a very strong champion, but it's our champion. And Tentamon. It's almost as strong as our champion. And Kuagamon. Their champion is way stronger than our champion. But we have one difference between us. I have better cards. Thunder Ray will not even do half your health. But I can heal myself so that you can't even do half mine. Normally, you could have done more than half mine. Because Quagamon's hit really freaking hard. But yeah, I heal like a, a shit ton. I think we're both going to go for circle attack. That, that would be the best idea. Quagamon's are cool. I like Quagamon's. And so are Kabuterimon's and all that. But Quagamon's more my speed. 
Scissor Claw. Alright. Thanks to my huge HP buff, I didn't even feel that. I still healed more than I lost, but I couldn't even do half your health. So unless I draw a buffing card, you're in actually a pretty good position. I have to draw a buffing card next turn. And I ain't talking HP. Funny enough, I think Gatamon does buff me. By exactly... Oh no, Vmon buffs me. Damn it. Okay. You lower two attacks, you're useless, so you're going away. Um, I could try to top deck, but there's some risky top decks in my deck, so I don't know if I want to do that. Just saying. Although, if you never risk it for the biscuit, you'll never get a biscuit. My opponent's not willing to risk it for the biscuit, so why why not me? I risk it for the biscuit. Let's do it. Yes! I drew Veeam on my other partner! And that gives me just enough attack. That was the that was the god draw. That was the exact amount of damage I needed to win the fight. He doesn't get a chance to evolve into ultimate. He doesn't get anything. It's super easy for grass decks to evolve into ultimate, so the fact that I stopped him right here right now was amazing. Oh, if it wasn't Vmon, that could have gone bad. That could have gone bad. Look at him laugh. <laughs> Yamamon, you did it, buddy. You did it. You won me a fight. And Kabuterimon falls. Very hard opponent, though. These fights are going way longer after this. the crap I've been through. Last chance gamble win. That's what I did. Just enough attack win. Yeah. That's exactly how I won that. No new Digi parts, but that's fine. We got another Yamamon. Airdramon is good. I'm glad we got another Airdramon. Um, I could live without another Yamamon, but, you know, they did win me that fight, so respect to them. Wow, you got me pretty good. You are tough. You won fair and square. Our paths may cross somewhere else. All right. See you later, buddy. Ikakumon. Yep, it's just everybody's main characters. Okay. Hey, I'm Mikyakumon. I'm so impressed that you made it this far. But this is only a halfway point. You still have a long way to go. There's, oh my god, there's so many fights here. It's everybody's partners. That's what it is. It's everybody's. This would be, what, Gomamon or something? I'm not turning down a challenge, but you have a water deck, so I'm definitely not using the fire deck on you. Grass deck will do just fine. <laughs> it's funny, the, two, the first two opponents are grass decks, and then we got the anti-fire deck. Yeah! Thank god I built a grass deck. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been so bad. Remember when I went through the Igloo Town with my fire deck and I barely won every fight? I still won, but it was barely. He got Frigimon, which counter, uh, which is a healer. That could be a problem. Alekmon counters them, though. Oh my god, I have Alekmon. So my Gotsumon, I could buff you to 300. Frigimon will heal, and his deck's all about healing. So if I start with Gotsumon... Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I would, but I actually want you for your effect. Um, he cannot counter me, so I could just go for Rock Fist and just do as much damage as possible. Because I'm assuming you're going to heal no matter what and then go into champion form. You didn't heal. Interesting. Well, I can't kill you anyway. And you went for your weakest attack. That's really dumb. <laughs> That's super dumb. I really appreciate that. He didn't heal because he didn't need to. He's going to Frigimon form next time. All he has to do is draw a Digimon. He makes it to Digimon form. Or Frigimon form. Frigimon will kill my Gotsumon. Not bad. Not bad. However, I saved my own heal just in case this happened. And I'm going to draw a champion if I get the chance. Okay. I was so lucky. He did not draw any Digimon. If he had drawn a Digimon, that would have been amazing. So he could heal himself by 300. That will save him from me. Just enough to save him. And all I have are healing cards, so I can't counter it. <sighs> Shit. Alright, well, since I can't counter it, I'm gonna go for the Rock Fist. There's no reason not to. And I am gonna gamble with the top deck and see if I can draw a card that will stop him. Just so I can kill him this turn. Oh, he went for a gamble. He might not heal at all. No! He he drew that! He drew that of all cards? The fact that I went for circle killed me. But I thought there was no reason not to. I didn't know he ran that card. Oh my god. Oh, what are the odds he top decked that? That was the most unlucky I could have been. Literally, that was the most unlucky I could have been. There's no other 
That was the only card he could have drawn to kill me. And I didn't even know it would be in his deck. Damn. That's unlucky. Okay, well... You know what? It sucks. I'm probably gonna have to toss my whole hand given what I'm drawing. Yep, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Okay, I drew a good rookie. I drew a good rookie. Or... I could evolve into you. If I really wanted to. I don't really want to. Your attack stat's actually not better than my Tentamon. So... Tentamon. I don't know how the opponent knew that would happen. He's got some god powers, I guess. But you're gonna kill him. Because what are the odds he gets two of those cards top decking? It's the only way he would kill me. He's going for the heal. And funny enough, that heal won't change the fight. It won't change the fight. He still loses. Uh, no, I'm good with my hand the way it is. We're cool. Still unbelievably unlucky that uh, this fight is even this close. I should have had an advantage. I should have evolved. I would have been evolved by now if that didn't happen. Luckily, electricity beats water, so go ahead. Even though that guy looks like he'd be a water ground type. It reminds me of Sandshrew. Sand Slash, anyway. My favorite ground type. Oh, man. Alright, so I'm in a little bit of danger. I can evolve next turn if I uh, draw a Digimon. He can't evolve to ultimate, so we're fine. But he can evolve. The second he gets a champion, he's going to evolve. He can counter my triangle attack, so I'm not going for triangle, I'll tell you that much. And the most damage I can do this turn, if I was willing to get rid of Erdemon, is 300. And I don't want to double his HP, so we're just going to go for it. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. We're good. He's going for a top deck again. He better not get in our one of those missiles. Nope, I'm not a fire type. That would have countered me if I used my fire deck. So, thank God I didn't choose the fire deck. Alright, Gomamon. This is one of the natural... Uh, this is one of the show's digi partners. I can't remember the guy's name. He had, like, glasses or some shit. It was not... I don't really like water Digimon that much. Seedramon's an exception. And the the Seedramon family, basically. Snow Agumon's also an exception, but... There's exceptions to all rules, guys, but no, 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 no. I'm, I, I don't like Water Digimon that much. Alright, 320. I have plenty of attack to kill him, but he's gonna heal, probably. So it'd be best if I would do this. I'm gonna throw away Akuterimon to evolve into Erdramon. Erdramon does have more attack. And then... I don't have any way to kill him still, which means he's probably gonna get to champion form, which would be a horrible situation for me. So I might have to risk it. Let me see if he's going to heal first. Yes, okay. So I have to risk it in order to kill him. Hope I get something good. Nope, there goes my instant Digivolution. So I'm not going to ultimate quick. And I'm also not going to be able to kill my opponent. Which means he's probably going to champion form next turn. And all the damage I just did gets mitigated. Ah, uh, this sucks. This sucks. I lost all my healing cards. I lost a lot of power-up cards. Marching Fishes, he just went for the max damage. That was a good play. Adorable attack. Red Fish, Blue Fish, Green Fish... Or, 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 one Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. I remember reading that book as a kid. Loved it. I tried to stop this from happening. He got a Gakumon. He got his natural evolution. It has so much HP. It's attack stat, not so good. It's HP stat, godlike. However, he's got heals for days, so I'm not killing him anytime soon. I guess I'll just keep going for maximum damage and pray that this works. I'm going to top deck again. I need to draw my ultimate Digimon. Not right now. I don't want to draw him right now, but I need to draw it to evolve because I'm not strong enough to beat Ukakumon. Hey, I healed and I did damage. Okay, good. Airdramon was a good top deck. Ooh, I need my ultimate. I might have to toss my whole hand just to get it. Heat top. Uh-oh. He's going for it. Like I said, he's pretty weak, but he's got heals for days, and his HP start was already high. So, yeah, I barely got him out of a 1,000. And he's just going to heal again. And again. And again. 
So the only thing in my deck that hits hard enough is probably my ultimate Digimon. Didn't draw him. Did not draw him. I'm discarding everything. I know, I know, my hand's kind of small. Or my deck's kind of small right now, but... Shit. I got my own healing card. That might be worth it. It might be worth it to keep the, my own healing card, honestly. Alright. This is fine. Plus, I got my partner, which, uh... No real helpfulness, I just like my partner. Alright, go ahead, uh, Tentamon, just give me a buff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, there's no reason for me not to spinning needle him. And I'm assuming he's gonna heal, but my damage will just do a little bit more than his heal. And my, unless he went for circle, oh, he didn't even try to heal. Even though he has two heals left, I would've healed. In fact, oh, if I, if I can't kill him, he might get to his ultimate form. I can't fight a Zudamon. Ikakumon's hard enough as is. It, I mean, literally, I don't know how I'm gonna kill him. My spinning needles aren't enough. But if he makes it to freaking Ikakumon, I'm dead. Harpoon Torpedo. He went for max damage, so I took 40 damage this turn. Because I healed. It's a, ra it's a war of attrition, and he's gonna win that war. It looks like he's low, but he's just gonna heal. I don't know what Gomamon does. What does it do? Let's find out. Lower attack. Okay, I'm not using triangle, so it's fine. Spinning needle. Again, I might as well top deck for a buff and hope I kill him before he gets to heal. Nope, he's going for a heal just to be safe. It's a low. It's the weaker heal though. Yeah! Oh, that sucks. Ass. Are you serious? Why did I lose half my attack? Why, why did all my attacks go down? He went for his weakest attack. Oh man, I lost the only thing in my deck that could have saved me. Wow. You want to see a misplay? That's, that's a misplay on my part. Should have just waited. I knew my deck was running out, I should have just waited. I ran an Exodia deck once where I risked it like that before, and I still won, so maybe there's hope for me yet. If level is lower, if level is lower, it don't matter. Discarding to wreck up DP doesn't matter anymore. If anything, I shouldn't do it, just so I don't accidentally deck out. Plus, I'm about to lose my guy. This turn, probably. In fact, although the only attack that could kill me this turn is Harpoon Torpedo. Or I could just try to go for the kill. So, you know what? I think he's going to heal, so I'm just going to go for the kill. And that means I'm going to survive this turn, but still die next turn. Yeah, I knew it. Um, so what I'm going to do is this. I'll draw a card from this. A little risky to draw a card, I know. Oh, there's a card that would have been great. That would have been enough to kill my opponent. So it turns out I should have top decked. I didn't even know I had any of those left. Crap. You know what? He still might go for the kill. What am I talking about? I'm max. I'm, I'm going for max damage right now, but he could totally just go for the kill. Yep. Ah. Oh. Yeah. This. If he gets to ultimate form, I got him this low. But if he gets to ultimate form, it was all for nothing. I'll never kill his ultimate form. Not without my own. And mine's gone. My deck's too small. He only has one card in hand, so he gets three draws. Did he draw an ultimate? He did not draw an ultimate. That's the one saving grace that is keeping me in this duel. So looking at this, that won't matter, that won't matter, that won't matter. Got him on? Welcome to the team. I definitely don't want to discard because I don't want to draw cards. Um, I could Digivolve, funny enough. I don't want to. I have max HP right now. And he has no chance of surviving this attack. Because there's nothing to counter my circle attack this time around. Nothing. Plus, I have these two cards to buff me if I don't Digivolve. Okay. Okay. No, we're not going to Digivolve. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to go for the kill. Lightning Paw. The only thing he could do, which would be terrifying to me is he could top deck. He did not top deck. So we don't want to top deck. We don't want to play anything. 
Because we need to make sure we don't draw any cards. I don't want to lose my deck out after all. I don't even know if that's a thing. I just don't want to lose my deck out. Well, this is our first time using our partner, Gatamon. Gatamon, you look adorable. Um, funny enough, you're, you're a rookie in this game, but you should be a champion. I don't know why I never questioned that. And so should Black Gatamon. Black Gatamon should be a rookie, too. I mean, a champion, too. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Gatamon, you're... I'm happy to have you in the party. But you have to win... Oh, wait, was that game? Oh, no, I need one more fight, and they need one more fight. And they did... T oh, if he would have top-decked it, I would have... Oh, Ikakumon, yep. Yep, so if I go for circle, I die. That's, that's a thing. And if I go for... That's it. Okay, well... It's weird to know I can't go for my circle attack. So I'm gonna have to go for lightning kick. And luckily for me, they have no healing. So my Leomon will do a ton of damage. It's gonna boost me by 500 power. Okay, they thought... I, okay, I'm glad they're getting rid of that card. Now I can use my circle next turn. And I will have a next turn, because I have just enough HP to survive one attack. Not two, but one. Ikakumon, you and your gigantic HP stat. Gatamon, my partner with your actually pretty good D uh, HP stat for a rookie. He went for his weakest attack because he's nice. Gatamon, lightning kick. Oh, that's badass. That's so freaking cool. Nobody can tell me that's not cool. That's super cool. And because I was willing to use Leomon, I'm going to be left with three cards left in my deck. And these three cards are going to be what win me the duel. So here we go, guys. I also could evolve if I really needed to. Just saying. I could evolve. I can go Ninjamon. I can go... Okay, Ninjamon, what are your things? You have 440 attack. And you have more HP. You have more HP, but you have less attack. He has how much HP left? Well, let's cancel this phase. And I would have just enough attack if I went Ninjamon. Nothing to stop me. Or I could just stay Gatamon and go with uh, this guy who can buff my triangle attack. I'm going to go with Ninjamon, though. I want to have my HP back. So, partner Gatamon, we're evolving onto you. We're going for the ninja knife throw for game. All he could do is top deck another one of those missiles if he still uses them. He's not going for a top deck. I will just use my straight up buffing card. And that's game. That was probably one of the closest duels we've had in a while, guys. Literally three cards left in the deck. One loss and I would have... I mean, one more death and I would have lost, but we barely beat him. Two Ikakumons. Alright, got a little ninja action there. Awesome. Love my guy. And the big-ass Ikaku is dead. This little onion basically beat him. Next time you need to take on a walrus, everybody, bring an onion with you. That throws ninja stars. And we barely did it. Holy crap, this wise man tower is going to be freaking awful. <laughs> I can already tell. The anti-fire deck doesn't work on me, though. And I got a level up for Vimon. And boost attack power by 100. And... Ooh, okay, we got Psychbon and Clear Agumon. Those are cool. And Andromon, I already have two of those, but I'll take another one. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. All right. Wonder who our next opponent's gonna be. Yeah, the rumors are true. I'm pretty strong, even though you totally almost beat me. Uh, your partner's name is Joe. I forgot about him. All right, Birdramon. Ooh, you're super high attack, super high digivolve speed, bad defense. I know this because I've used Birdramon before. I'm Birdramon. Let me ask you a question. What is your purpose? Have you given it any thought? Yeah, I have, and it's to end this episode. Hey, everyone, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. I will see you next time when we take on Birdramon. Hopefully with the dark deck. I mean, with the, not the dark deck, the red deck, because uh, the grass deck is probably going to get countered by this deck. So we got to be careful there. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.